Hi everyone. Let's start with the fourth section, Web Vulnerability Scanning. In this section, we will focus on how web vulnerability scanning is achieved by web penetration testers. It's necessary as a tester to identify vulnerabilities in web apps. Video 1. Tulpar Web Vulnerability Scanner. Video 2. Metasploit Web Information Gathering. Video 3. Metagoofil Web Information Gathering. Video 4. Detect XSS Vulnerability. Video 5. SQL Injection Vulnerability. Before you proceed in this section 4, please know that the scanning and practices in this course are for educational purposes and not for breaking the rules or the law. I am saying this to protect you and me and at the same time practice this testing in a secured environment and don't test any site without the owner's access. In this video, we will take a look at a popular Kali Linux web penetration testing tool for gathering information and also finding vulnerabilities. What is Tulpar? Tulpar is an open source web vulnerability scanner for written to make web penetration testing automated. Tulpar has the following features. SQL injection, get method, XSS, get method, crawl, email disclosure, credit card disclosure, who is, command injection, get method, directory traversal, get method, file include, get method, server information, technology information, X content type check, X XSS protection check, TCP port scanner, robots.txt check, URL encode, certification information, available methods, cyber threat intelligence, IP2 location, file input available check. Installations Open Firefox. Go to the Google search website and type in Tulpar Tool, or better, type in GitHub Tulpar Tool, and this will give you the official link to clone Tulpar into your Kali Linux. Click the first link, https colon slash slash github.com slash tulpar slash tulpar. Visit the link for the cloning. Check the README and you see we are talking about the same tool and its usefulness in the security world. Click the clone or download for copying, minimize Mozilla and open your terminal for the cloning of Toolpar tool, then type cd desktop slash. This will move us into the desktop directory for the cloning of Toolpar. After this, type git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash Toolpar slash Toolpar. Wait and see it cloning before installations. List the directory using command ls and we can see the Tulpar tool directory in our desktop directory, the cd Tulpar slash into the Tulpar directory. List the directory and install requirement in the Tulpar list below. Here's how to install the requirements. pip install hyphen r requirements. This will install the necessary Tulpar requirements and Python requirements for the tool in Kali Linux. Now list with ls hyphen l to start Tulpar, type this on terminal python tulpar.py who is http colon slash slash www.bdtimes.com This will check the whois information of this vulnerable website for us. We get the domain name and the email of the site. Let's do an SQL scanning like this, also python tulpar.py sql http colon slash slash www.bdtimes.com We can see SQL isn't available. For fuzzing, just make changes the same way we did with the last commands. Python tulpar.py fuzzing http colon slash slash www.bdtimes.com For cross-site scripting XSS, try typing this command on terminal. Also, python tulpar.py xss http colon slash slash www.bdtimes.com Let's also try it for links using the same commands. Python tulpar.py links http colon slash slash www.bdtimes.com. This will provide a link for the site that we need, but this is an image link file. For more information on the tool, check the README file using this command cat readme. This will provide us with the installation steps and also the usefulness of the tool. That's all for this video. 